Folks, welcome to another great word on the street here with none other. Man, this guy's an anomaly. Uh, he sings, he writes, he produces, he's a musician. He was on The Voice uh, season five and uh, just an incredible talent. He's also the son of, of, of uh, Bill Champlin of Chicago. But I tell you what, he's got his own complete thing going on, mega talented and always relevant to the times. It seems like when there's a headline, this guy comes out with a, with a hit sound and song. It's none other than Will Champlin. How you doing, Will? Good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. You know, Will, you know, I, I met you a while back and and we did an interview and you you had written a song. I mean, just it seemed like minutes after the Afghan soldiers were abandoned uh, yeah. by this current administration in, in Afghanistan. And and I was just impressed how how someone could come up with something so creative, so meaningful, so impactful, uh, but do it so quickly. And that only comes from someone w w who has music in their veins. And man, it's not just music in your veins, dude. Uh, it, to be able to rap and sing and play and write and produce. Then you sent me the song uh, called Keep on Trucking, folks, that you're going to be able to hear uh, at the end of this show. Will, man, you did a show in Dallas uh, the night before this recording. Just catch us up first on what you're doing. And let's talk about Let's Trucking after that. Keep on Trucking after that. What's happening in your world? Man, I'm just trying to juggle and keep up and uh, we, we really keep on trucking a couple of days ago, me and uh, a fellow artist, Bryson Gray, who's uh, who I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, I that name, yeah. 25 times billboard chart topper wow. rapper and an and artist, um, motivator, all that. Uh, he's um, we dropped it Friday and uh, ca even ca I even captured some video content out here in Dallas at on the venue premises and then. So I'm like just excited to go back and hopefully get some of his content and some stock stuff in mine. And wow. And well, that's next on the horizon is putting a video out for this one. Um, so which I know when I get the right pieces, I I'll throw it together and it comes together. But yeah, we're also coming out with another song on next Friday, this this coming Friday, which I gotta wow. actually get on top of promoting. It's called New American Gangsters. That's coming out. Um so it's rough to keep up, but we're, I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to be a factory here and just, you are, and, and keep them, pump them out, pumping out. Um, you know, they're, uh, they're going to fall where they will. So, um, right. We got like uh, over a hundred retweets on it the other day. So it's, it's getting around. It's definitely circulating. I don't, I don't know if it's getting to chart talking level or anything like that. We did put it out like kind of last minute and, but, you know, there. Right. you know, it's amazing in this age, you know, back in the day, and I'm old enough, young man, back in the day that, you know, you write a song and you go in the studio and, you know, it, it, it takes it takes a little longer to release it and get it out. This day and age, as fast as you can record it, you can release it to the world uh, through the Internet. But you know what? I definitely want I've said this before, Will, I definitely want to be one of those guys you call. Uh, and I'm glad that you've done that already. When you have a new release, because I tell you, it's so important, folks, that we have positive, true media right now. You know, the media got us where we are in this country, and I believe the media can get us back to where we need to be or even better. But, you know, the arts, they live on, you know, writing, sculpture, poetry, uh, yeah. you, you know, music and all that. And, Will, it just seems to flow out of you. I know that you got some of that from your family, you know, your incredible father and your lovely mother, Tamara. Uh, who I'd like to interview as well. Uh, it's in your veins, but you, but you, but you've taken, you've taken your influences and you've made something completely different. You know, folks, if, if you're on TikTok, you need to look up uh, Will Champlin. Now, one of your, one of Kill your uh, nicknames Kill is Will. Kill Will, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's my handles. Kill Will C. On TikTok, <laughs> so. I have another one. Kill Will one seven seven six. But right, I'm just trying. That's a tester, just to like. That's yeah. a burner account, so I could try to see if the algorithms really hit. hit so, well, you know what? I, I I don't know the origin of the inspiration of Kill Will. I want to hear it in a second, but man, you're killing it. You're killing it, man. And, and every you. time something comes out, you put something out. You know, I consult people uh, in, in my marketing um, uh, consulting, and you know, one of the best ways to to get attention or bring attention to 
hopefully some some kind kind of uh, form of truth uh, in today's mainstream platforms yeah. is to take a headline and to release something under that headline and do a commentary about it or or maybe you know word on the street you know not just this show that's why I created word on the street to get the real word on the street you know there's 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 what the me- mainstream media is saying uh, folks have lost all faith in that don't blame you of but there's also what people are saying on the street. There's what the word is saying. And of course, what we have to say about it. But, you know, uh, before we move on, what, what was the inspiration behind the name Kill Will? Because you're killing it every day. What, what, what's your version of that? <laughs> it was the Quentin Tarantino movie, Kill Bill. <laughs> I thought it was. The Kill Bill, yeah. <laughs> yeah and I was like, well, if I say Kill, you know, that's my dad's name. So people wouldn't get confused. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like... All right, Will. Will, it is. Well, it's brilliant. And folks, uh, it, it, as you go to YouTube and search through TikTok and all these other platforms too, uh, I want you to look this guy up because I'm sold on him and I believe in him very, very much. So moving right on, you know, Will, uh, you were inspired to write this song for the truckers and people are seeing the true colors of who some many, uh, well, I'll say some many believe is, Castro's uh, illegitimate son, Trudell, that may or may not be true. However, he sure is acting uh, like a socialist and a communist and a little bit like Hitler. What inspired you uh, to, to be mobilized to write this incredible song? I knew, where, I knew where, where it was getting and I knew where it was like when we start, when I started a song and I'm like, I got to write something for the truckers because we know it's about to happen here. Like they're going to shut the party down. Like, but they're only going to shut it down at Ottawa. Um, it's going to sprout at other places, yeah. whether it's like, you know, if they're pushing the hard mandate system stuff in uh, other cities, even America, that's going to, it's going to, it's going to be harder for them to shut it down in America right? than it is Canada. I, I believe, I think America has more guaranteed freedoms than Canada. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I'm sure they have, some guarantee things. I haven't really looked at what, you know, their detailed, their constitution or whatever, but I know they got, it looks like they got shut down a lot quicker. Mm-hmm. Um, so I knew like, well, this is time. I got to get something done here because they, this particular scene is going to get shut down. Right. Um, and, 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 and you, you know what the, you know what the method is. It's right out of the playbook of Nazi Germany. Is is if there is some type of protest or some legitimate uh, a voicing of public opinion, then they bring in their goons to cause trouble, and then they bring in their their uh, uh, you know their their stormtroopers, so to speak, to quelch the rebellion. They did it in Nazi Germany. They did it in Russia uh, with Stalin. They did it in Venezuela. Uh, they did it in Cuba. They did it in China. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it don't matter how you vote, folks. I can't find anybody who is in support of what's happened with our administration, even those who voted uh, for a, a basement, uh, uh, Joe. But, you know, it's interesting because we've seen that in a lot of things. We've seen it in uh, what, what they would call an insurrection, what, what, which was being led into like a field trip to the Capitol yeah, unarmed. Everybody. But that's, that's an insurrection. But burning down cities is a peaceful protest. And of course, what usually happens is one side, uh, like Antifa, that has resulted to violence, they always seem to find their way among the legitimate protesters to cause trouble so that their, their goons can come in and quelch the rebellion, which is not a rebellion at all. It's a show of freedom. And I, I, it is sprouting up here in America, but, you know, I, I don't know, Will. Uh, all too often, we've already seen the, the mentality, uh, the Marxist mentality of, of, of the left and, and how they can infiltrate uh, legitimate gatherings and, and uh, do the same communist Nazi tactics uh, that we are seeing right now in Canada. Do you know anybody? from Canada or in anyone in, in, in those circles who might have an idea of what's actually happening now on the ground? Um, yeah, I know a few people. Um, I've talked to a few people like that actually hit me up on YouTube and stuff. And in response to the song, um, some are actually truckers. I know some people that, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's funny. YouTube, I've got nothing but positive com- comments on that song. 
good. There was one. There was one questionable one, but that that wasn't. It wasn't like it wasn't like the stuff you see on Twitter, right? Where you think it's like, where you know it's like, well, this has got to be like a bot from like Beijing or something like that. Where it's like a wording you've never seen, All right? Right. Um, like you said, when the goons come in, I, I, a lot of that is driven by the tech world. A lot of that is driven by social media. Right. Um, the minute you go, the minute they need to distract from something, they distract from the Ukraine deal. Right. Um, then they go, they go right on to, you know, they go, let's put the spotlight back on the written house dude who's wanting to, who's suing celebrities now or something like that. So I, I was like, well, it's called wagging the dog back in the day. What do you call oh, it? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, uh, deterring the focus to, to what, when, when one of the points is, is falling flat, they got to deter the focus and, and, uh, go somewhere else with it. Cause you know, everybody knows they're trying to push a, push a war for profit. So overseas, <clears throat> You know, it, it's interesting to see other rappers like Ice Cube begin to talk about uh, things that probably you wouldn't hear him talk about in his early uh, days. He's he's kind of been aw- awakened a little bit more lately, yeah. and you know, he's I I'd, I'd rather listen to him talk than you know Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Well, you know, you know, it's very clear the line has been drawn, uh, folks. You know, there was a time when you thought that people talked about the elitist and the globalist. And hey, even the Luciferians, right? That was a conspiracy. Boy, it's getting hard to hide now, isn't it? Because it's they're not hiding. Hide. It's pretty hard to hide. These devils out of their mind, as, as Topher said in his new song. So, Well, you know, I'm excited because as I'm talking to you, Will, uh, talk about a new form of journalism. You know, you know, I, I was trained by one of the best, uh, Charles mm-hmm. Tudor, uh, who put out a lot of uh, 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 CNN and Fox guys. Yeah. And even watching Fox this morning, uh, they're repeating the propaganda. They're, they're, they're just as bad. I hate to say it, mm-hmm. but uh, folks don't put your trust in anybody, but God uh, and your fellow man and get the truth. That's why we're doing what we're doing today. But you know, journalism is the facts, you know, that for those of you who remember the old gumshoe shows, you know, just the facts, man, facts aren't emotional. Facts aren't political. No, not emotional. Somewhere, somewhere along the way, journalism has turned into activism. And it's pathetic so much that CNN has lost over 70% of their audience. Uh, Zuckerberg uh, lost almost, what, almost $400 billion. And now you're seeing algorithms change because perhaps he's called off a lot of his blue-haired Nazis because people are just sick of it. And with all that said is, in a way, Will, I think that your rap and your singing and your art, your craft is a new form of journalism. Uh, because the words that you had in the fallen ones, and folks, I recommend that you do that, um, is is just like anything else you're doing. You're presenting facts, and you're also saying what the rest of us are thinking. That's what I do on this show. But you know, that's what you're doing with your music. And I, I don't, I've never met anybody quite like you. You know, Will, you run in circles um, that it might not be popular to. Have have any type of moral code or 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 conservative values? I mean, that's debatable. You know, um, Tupac may have promoted the gangster life, but Tupac also was spitting truth on the street as well. What was happening? It was absolutely you know? was. But but you're, you you provide music that people who are seeking truth, who want to know what the situation is, uh, in in some cases who want to know what the facts are. Mm -hmm. Uh, and want to have some type of positive mobilization at the end of the day, you're creating a whole new thing. And frankly, I'm, I'm amazed by it. Now audience, I want you to know right now how to get behind, uh, kill will who's killing it, man, with the truth of the fact and, and, and will Champlin will, what, what is the best way to get behind your music? I know you're selling music, but do you allow people just to, donate to you or give to you to keep making this this incredible uh i would say a whole new realm of journalistic music um yeah i mean i have a i have like a you know on my either my instagram or twitter there's there there's there's like link trees with 
you know, I think that's like Patreon or whatever, like on there. Uh, um, there's that. There's a, Twitter is just Will Champlin or as well as Kill Will C. Um, there's the that. Cash and, yeah, there's all that stuff on there. Like I, I, I think all I, all, the I think it's all embedded in. I'm pretty sure it's all embedded in, and you know, especially there as well. Um, but yeah, that's that's the space where it's like you got to suit up, man. That's like. Like you said, that's that's some unpopular circles there. Right? So like, I mean, I literally like, <laughs> I will literally like put a post up or or do replies on the most vile, crazy tweets I've ever seen that are kind of normalized. I'm like, well, here's a little trigger and song for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like, I'm like, I got a really great bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what let me see what kind of fire I can start today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You know, the, you know, in, in a relationship, if if a question makes you angry, then that's a red flag. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, uh, Swipe right on the beehive, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, well, yeah, there you go. Well, you know, it, it it's like I got a date with a beehive tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, th- there was a time when we could ask any question we want, and it wasn't a trigger, it was a question. And, it sure was. You know, you know, folks, your life will change in your marriage and your relationships and your business dealings because it's, business is all about relationships now. Oh yeah. If if you become a person that you're not offended at everything and you're not offended at questions, you know, there's mm-hmm. not a question you can't ask me, Will, and yeah. I may or may not answer it, or I may not answer it in, in a way that 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 feels all warm and yummy. But you know, you, you have to look at what's happening, and and in a culture where you know. 16 year olds are needing a safe space and a stuffed animal. And it's the parents fault. You know, my great, my, my grandfather, you know, he, uh, he was, he was jumping out of planes and killing Nazis, you know, when he was 16 Getting shot up about his age and got in the military. Yeah. Huh? I saw him. Oh yeah. Like the, the paratroopers, man, that was, some of them didn't land alive, you know? I know. And, and, you know, my gosh, but you know what? And then I see some young men in this generation that impress me. And they're made of that stuff, man. But, but Will, I admire your courage and I admire your craft and your talent. You know, I came across uh, one of your videos. One of your videos came across my feed and TikTok. And uh, you're sitting and playing the piano and singing, man. And uh, Simon Cowell, a lot of people may be surprised. Of course, Simon wasn't part of The Voice. But, so, you know, Simon's favorite music is gospel music. And a lot of people don't realize that. That's his favorite kind of music. What song was I doing, if you don't mind me asking? I don't know if you were doing What a Beautiful Name It Is uh, uh, by Hillsong or something. I don't know what you were doing. Oh, yeah, it's a, a Christian song, right? But you know what? I was so moved by that because you're sitting and playing the piano and you're singing. Savior. And yeah. So you know what? It, it, it helps in this day and, a, and age. You know, I'm a musician and I'm a singer too, and I'm a writer too. And, you know, I, I stopped trying to be Bon Jovi in 1991, but but, uh, you know, I've enjoyed a lot of uh, uh, benefits from, from doing that. Uh, your father was actually a very big influence on me uh, in some of that uh, when I was doing that. I, I, I was 13 years old and, and my father had died and my mother had to get a job uh, mm-hmm. uh, outside of the home. An incredible mother. And, and so I, I started working for myself. And one of my first jobs was, was being a professional piano player. Uh, as well as doing marketing freelance. I was working for myself when I was 13. I couldn't even drive yet, but nice. it was necessity. And all that to say is uh, I don't forget people who've inspired me and helped me, but there are a lot of young people in this generation, Will, who will be inspired by you. And, you know, you may think uh, in your mind that you're just doing what you do and you're creating these songs and, and you know, doing, but man, you're having such an impact. I guarantee you that. I know that millions of households will see this show as well and, mm-hmm. and, and much more on all the digital platforms and the cable networks and, and those who watch it on demand and continue for the next four or five or 10 years, however long that we have freedom of speech in this country. But I just want to want to salute you, man, and what you're doing, because it is fantastic. So from, from the raps to the writing to the performing, and we want to talk about that next, to sitting down at a piano and singing. Yeah. Uh, my gosh, man, you're, you're just a uh, really multifaceted and folks, I encourage every one of you to get behind young men like this because they're very, very rare and moving on to your performances. Tell us about your performance, uh, in Dallas, uh, the night before 
the time of this recording. Yeah, I um, it was Atlas Island Entertainment that uh, brought me out to do this amazing show, and they they had a a grand opening for their studio. It was a visual studio. They have a recording studio. It's, they're kind of like multi-purpose, um, you know, soundstage, everything kind of like they're a whole entire, you know, compound of entertainment. And um, they had like a party and a DJ outside and stuff. Uh, um, yeah, it was a great time. And I even got to shot, shoot some video for this trucking song I, we actually found a truck on the lot yeah that was that was, that, that was a surprise to you right you're gonna be surprised man check this out <laughs> you gotta you gotta see this one if you get a second here yeah yeah so literally this is the some of the footage now you know you know there are no accidents and coincidences right yeah so oh well I'm, there you are I'm on okay. an actual truck right there you see oh wow and then uh <laughs> and then i'm on there and then I'm in the back of a truck here, just man. I tell you what, look at all that hair too, brother. I'm I'm jealous of all that hair now. That was actually you know, a little a, 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 another warehouse locker, yeah. but it looked like a back of a truck. We got away from the brick wall, and I'm like, so that that was the the place I did this show in Dallas, and uh, I did a like 45 minute set, and then um, Topher went on and played and and uh, was rapping his set. And um, I did I did a song with him that he just released an album called Two Two Two. It's number one on hip hop right now on wow. iTunes. Number one album right now. It's you were involved with that. Yeah, it's a song called Uprising. We did, and yeah, the rest of his album's great. He's got a uh, he's got a song. He like he does a hook in like the Hebrew Hebrew language or something because I know he speaks it. No he's way. Very, he's he's, he's extremely like studied. He's a very like studied, uh, you know, person with like, wow. you know, biblical studies. He's very deep, man. Like, uh, wow. And the, the whole the whole album's like, wow. It's so it's so like the depth of it, the God centered depth of it is is uh is inspiring for sure. Well, man, you're inspiring me. You know, we're just counting down to uh, just a, a little bit of time before we get to hear. Keep on trucking. And man, I just I just want to salute you, Will. Yeah, uh, thank you, man. folks. Right now, go go to the hub. And what is the hub? What is it? Your website? What's the hub for all the other ways to support you? Let me just make sure here, real quick. Okay. Um, because you're on the road all the time, man. You're you're moving and shaking. And uh, you know what? For right now, just just go just go download. Keep on trucking. Uh, just go by. Keep on trucking by. Kill Will and Bryson Gray. Okay. Uh, I could try to give you a hub name. I could, uh, I could just, I could probably send it in the chat. Um, the, like the link tree thing. Well, that next is. time you come on and there will be a next time soon. I hope uh, mm -hmm. we, we want to share that hub with everyone. So where's the best place to buy this? Uh, iTunes. So iTunes. Uh, I, I, I thought I figured, but I want to make sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, Will Champlin, yeah. man. I continue to be blown away by your talent and by your boldness. It takes a lot of fearlessness, uh, but it yeah. takes integrity too to speak the truth. You know what? Okay. When you stand up for something and you're fearless, uh, people will follow that courage uh, when they've lost faith in everything else. But you know what? My faith is in God, and I can't help but see that you have an unshakable faith you're not a you're not a religious person. You're a real person, and I'm very proud to know you. So, folks, here it is. Keep on trucking with Will Champlin. Thank you, Will, for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Then they had gear saying go They doing everything
They don't get to tell us how to feel now With the blood on their hands, the time to speak out I ain't wanna criticize, name names Politicize tragedy or fan flames I'm just trying to make a stand crystal clear Put it all into perspective, I got no fears Losing friends for the bars that I'm dropping Channeling the cold truth and I ain't stopping But it makes me damn sick to see our heroes Backstabbed by a government of zeros Deep pockets with the media lies Globalist ties, selling us sovereignty Deep state hypocrisy, still blaming 45 46, looking at his watch for the world to see While well, the bodies came down of the 13 With draped coffins, old glory to their resting place Stolen honor, but I know they didn't die in vain Sisters and brothers, only colors were American While we're programmed by division in the narrative We trip on race, but we're facing the end times When we stand before God, will we get right? The Afghan mamas handing babies through the lines 20 years gone, now they're left behind Just counting up the casualties, feels like like an alternate reality To his to the fallen ones They won't be coming home Hope y'all know freedom ain't free When pinned up against the wall We know they gave it all Now you should know I stand For the fallen ones Vehicles, 40 aircraft, Black Hawk drones in the hands of the enemy. They got a list of the allies and the families waiting for withdrawal to be a target of the cavalry. This ain't no transition, but a surrender to the savages. What a wager, culture war on minds, cause they don't align with the panic born in the group thing mentality. Patriots, we out the grid, so they label us extreme for the vanity. They call us fake, but we awake to reality. They divide and conquer with the war profiteers and the global puppeteers. Keep you on the Stream, let them feed you fear so you can't see clear Don't care if you Republican or Democrat It's all a matrix in the end and we should know that They died for our freedom that we're losing We're deluding, sedated by the blue pill we're consuming So say the names like they was your own kin Cause the sacrifice they gave they went all in and It's obvious and I can't stress enough Yours and mine opinions come with the cost of blood the Afghan mamas handing babies through the lines 20 years gone now they left behind just counting up the casualties Feels like an alternate reality So here's to the fallen ones They won't be coming home 